this week I did it. I Azrock my PC. I went full Azrock and I picked up a Azrock GPU and motherboard. So I ended up picking up the Azrock Challenger 9070 XT. This is the only MSRP 9070 XT in my area. And I made the pretty questionable choice of picking up the Azrock B850i Lightning Wi-Fi motherboard. If you haven't heard of this, this is the uh, motherboard that has killed the most 9800X3D CPUs. And that is exactly the CPU I put on it. So don't be fooled by the specs or the uh, very good price. Um, this thing is probably not worth risking your hardware on. I'll link a video below where I kind of go over the uh, motherboards in this price category and you can kind of check them out. There are some good deals, but overall, I would probably stay away from the ASRock B850i Lightning. But let's take a look at the hardware comparison. So before and after I nerfed my PC and ASRocked it into the ground, we can see that I end up saving a little bit over $60, which realistically isn't that much for what we're giving up. So in the motherboard category, we're going from the Gigabyte B650i Aorus Ultra to the ASRock B850i PG Lightning. So we're basically going from a motherboard that probably won't kill our CPU to one that maybe will. And then the uh, GPUs are also a pretty big downgrade. So I ended up getting my PowerColor Hellhound 9070XT for $629.99 before tax. So when we figure out the price difference after tax, I end up saving $32.17 by going with the ASRock Challenger but I am kind of losing a lot. The ASRock Challenger only has a one year warranty, whereas the Power Color has a two. The Power Color uses a total board power of 317 watts versus the ASRock ends up having a 304 watt. And the Power Color has a dual bio switch, which I actually think is pretty helpful. And then also is a bigger card, which is just going to help with overall heat dissipation. So pretty big downgrade there, but let's get into some gaming benchmark comparisons. So here we have the CPU benchmark results. The games were Call of Duty Warzone, Lords of the Fallen, Hogwarts Legacy, and Cyberpunk 2077 in Dogtown, 1080p with mixed presets. And there's a bigger performance gap here than I expected. It's like three to 5%. And I don't really know, man. It could just be difference in the motherboards and how they're putting power out. But I am curious if ASRock is doing something with their voltages or their power to like limit the effects on the 9800 X3Ds. Like we talked about, this motherboard that I'm using has killed the most 9800 X3Ds. And it would kind of be foolish for ASRock to not try to modify values to keep that from happening. And there is a possibility that this ends up leading to worse performance. But let's take a look at the GPU benchmarks next. And for these games, all of them were done with the built-in benchmarks. So we had Cyberpunk 2077, GTA 5 Enhanced, Forza Horizon 5, and Black Myth Wukong. And they were all at 4K with mixed presets. And overall, very similar performance between the two GPUs here. But when it comes to going full ASRock, I just don't think I can do it, boys. You know, you never go full ASRock. So I'll go half ASRock. I'll run the ASRock motherboard because I think that's going to be more interesting to see if ASRock has fixed their issues. But I can't run the 9070 XT Challenger. It's a good card. Um, it had a little bit of coil line. Um, but overall it's because I was able to get that power color hellhound for so cheap. I just can't give it up, man. Like I have a two year warranty on that thing, a dual bio switch, even if the performance is pretty similar, those two things to me are worth spending a little bit more money. So that's going to be the card that I continue running. But, uh, that's all I had to go over in this next week. I'm going to be going over some gaming laptop reviews. So Jared's tech is a YouTuber. He goes over a bunch of gaming laptops. He's literally the best person you should be watching if you are thinking of buying a gaming laptop and he has this site. So it's gaming laptop deals. And currently on this, the options that I think are the most interesting are the 5070 TIs. So you can see that there's some good deals, but the absolute standout to me right now is going to be this MSI vector 16 from Walmart. I picked this thing up. I'm going to be comparing it against the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i that I picked up. The uh, version that I have of the Lenovo is actually a little bit different. I have the uh, 6400 RAM and I have a uh, 240 Hertz OLED display. But if you're thinking about buying these two things, these are the differences that I know about them. And everything in bold is going to be a difference. So different CPUs, um, the RAM is half in the MSI and it's also slower. And then we have the screen differences. But man, when we think about the price, like after tax, it's probably going to be $450 more expensive to pick up the Legion Pro 5i with these specs. And man, I just don't know if that's justified. So I'm going to take some time. I'm going to be running these things through some benchmarks and uh, I'm going to let you guys know what my thoughts are. But it's pretty hard to deny the value of the MSI Vector 16 at $1,300. So if you guys are looking for a deal, I don't know how long this one will be around for, but I will be testing these things out and I'll have a comparison next week. 
But that's all I have for this one. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next week.